Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on Kusmal's sign. Rather than the expected decline in the level of jugular venous pressure on inspiration, as venous blood is returned to the heart, a paradoxical rise in the JVP is seen when the patient breathes in. This is Kusmal's sign. This sign is commonly associated with severe heart failure, right ventricular infarction, and pulmonary embolus. Other less common causes include tricuspid stenosis and constrictive pericarditis. For its mechanism, Kussmaul's sign is thought to be caused by a combination of increased venous return to the heart, in conjunction with a constricted or non-compliant right ventricle. The process occurs as follows. Normal inspiration requires a decrease in intrathoracic pressure. This helps draw venous blood back towards the thorax. Contraction of the diaphragm on inspiration increases abdominal pressure, and further increases venous return from an engorged splanchnic bed. A non-compliant right ventricle, owing to constrictive pericarditis, failure of the right ventricle, or increased right ventricular afterload due to pulmonary embolus, cannot accommodate the venous return, and right atrial pressure exceeds the fall in pleural pressure. The blood then backs up into distended neck veins. This flow chart shows the mechanism of Kussmaul's sign. When the patient inspires, there is reduce in intrathoracic pressure, hence increase in venous return. Another mechanism is when the patient inspires together with diaphragm contraction, there is increased intra-abdominal pressure on splanchnic bed. This increases the venous return as well. The non-compliant right ventricle will cause a higher right side pressure. This pressure is then transmitted into jugular veins, the JVP rises on inspiration, hence the Kussmaul's sign is present. For its sign value, Kussmaul's sign may be present in less than 40% of constrictive pericarditis cases. However, its specificity for an underlying pathology is very high. If present, it needs to be investigated. That's all for this video. Thank you.